What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin Fish Tanks, trying to bring it to you on a Wednesday. Um, was in the chat last night. Uh, yes, I actually go into the chat, and I was chatting it up with some people that are in there all the time. My man Justin Tang and my man Eric. Um, and coincidentally, both of these guys simultaneously um, got me in the chat, and they're asking me about lighting. So I want to talk about lighting today, and I want to talk about the intensity of lighting, and then I want to talk about some old school stuff that's going on. So um, here's what's up. Um, I want to talk about the intensity of lighting because I think a lot of people um, kind of overlook one of the uh, big, big, the big things I kind of harp on, and that's when you're doing your tank, you want to emulate nature. And one of the things that I do in my tanks that um, is kind of interesting, I, I just want to talk about light intensity basically. Um, and here's how it goes. So in this tank right here, I've got uh, 150 watts. 150 watts, um, and then the one in the middle is not on. So you're looking at uh, 300 watts over a uh, only a 200 gallon tank. Okay, so it's not that great intensity, albeit the halides put out a little more bang for the buck than fluorescence. But um, if I had that, all three of them would be 450. Now this tank has been run with as little as 120 watts. Okay, and I bring this up because Justin and I were talking, and he was asking me about my 90 gallon and he goes how many watts you running on your 90 gallon and I told him the truth I said I got 32 times 2 which is 64 so I've got less than one watt per gallon um, on my 90 gallon tank and as you can see you know it's not doing too bad um, he coincidentally just had a coral life correct me if I'm wrong on this bro uh, coral life ballast that went out on him so he's got 240 watts on his 90 gallon tank kind of a different ball game and I bring this up because um, Klaus shoot what's his last name I forget Klaus that spoke at the AGA um, gave an interesting talk and he showed about um, aquarium plants in their natural setting and how um, in different stages of the year they'll be like completely out almost uh, uh, out above the water and just have like super super bright sunlight and then in other parts of the year he showed this river that was completely um, like during flooding season it just like super filled up and the plants probably got hardly any daylight at all so I bring this up because plants can handle a magnitude of light now the plants that I talk about are mainly for the low-tech tanks so um, you know keep that in mind some of the harder stuff um, some of the crazy rotellas and stem plants they're gonna need a lot more light and nutrients but for for, for the sake of the plants that I sell in aquatic jungles and the stuff that I kind of recommend and talk about um, they can handle some low light, but you got to feed them. So that's kind of the thing I'm going with here. Justin, I don't know if you dirted your tank or not. I know we talked about it. I don't know if you ever ended up doing it. Sorry, bro. I should know that. But um, So it would be interesting to know if he if he hadn't dirted his tank, um, he would need all that more light because his f plants aren't getting enough food. Um, plants can adapt. It's part of their natural ability to survive like if the water level goes up in a stream they have the ability to just take less water now one of the things they do is they uh, adjust their leaves for that so I mean uh, like jungle bow for example well that's a bad example but it, it sometimes people keep it in highlight or like um, it com it's it's grown in highlight and then it's sold into a low light tank well it'll melt all of its leaves and then come back crypts do the same thing um, all those leaves will come back because they're used to growing in high light to converting to low light or vice versa and I want to show this here this is some Anubias just to show you how plants kind of adapt these suckers turn their leaves up that is actually upside down and uh, I just threw them in there when I got them in and I never planted them and look at how they're just kind of growing upside down um, towards the light this one's doing it as well so I really should do something with those um, only a few of those left on aquatic jungles which by the way is down right now my hosting company is killing me so I apologize to anybody that was trying to go check some stuff out. Give me a couple of days, and I'll get it brewing. But uh, you can see some new growth coming in there as well. So that's really what I wanted to bring up. A um, couple other fun things going on. I've been working on this question and answer book for a while. Um, I've got like one of my assistants put down about 80. Uh, it's over like 100 pages of questions and answers off my YouTube channel. And um, I'm going through it and kind of sorting it by like dirt, um, fish, um, tips and tricks, you know, people that are killing fish, um, all these problems that people have, and just kind of going through it and sorting it out. And it's taken me forever. Um, 
because it sucks because no one it's not like it's an order so I gotta put it in order so it's kind of a pain but uh, I'll show you over here it's kind of a pain but uh, that's what I've been doing bumping some uh, Caillou and Albert any of you guys are into trance by the way uh, it's a fat fat mix I got brewing there but um so I've been doing that but it was kind of cool because I've been going through like way back and seeing some emails from some old people like Sean Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> My wife just threw, I, think, I don't know, was, it, was that a diaper? What was that? No. Uh, but, um, yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, well, so I'm going through some old emails, and um, I checked out Fish Tank TV, and I know we're getting close to uh, a thousand or a thousand members on Fish Tank TV, so that's kind of a big deal as well. So I'm pretty uh, pretty excited about that. That was one of my goals for the year. So thanks for everyone that's on there. A big shout out to Tim. Thanks for all the work you're doing on there, bro. Um, you know, he, the guy just pours himself into it, and it's really great. And I think people appreciate it. I just took the duckweed out of here, and I want to show something on this tank as well. I'm not running any kind of filters on here. I'm running just an air stone. And I know Rainbow is like a little more light than this, or uh, flow than this, but that's what they're getting. So I'm gonna kind of beat that up. But um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun, and uh, that's what I wanted to say. So you know, your plants can get away with less lighting if you have better uh, nutrients. Oh, and then I want I want to know your guys' opinion on some of these um, these particular like lighting. I know there's a lot of lighting, and people are making fun of my lighting for it being kind of old school. I don't care. My plants grow, but. Um, there's a lot of new lighting coming out. I want to know what some of your favorite brands, setup styles, what you like, what you don't like, and um, I want to hear about that. I just rebought a bunch of bulbs, so I'm not changing anything time soon, but um, I don't know. I just kind of am looking for that, so appreciate the feedback. Welcome new subscribers, and um, we'll just keep doing it. That's it.